All righty. All right. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Let's put this the one we're working on right here. What did I do already? I already wrote something down. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let me make sure I got the right one. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Let's just get going on it. So essential skill number six. This should be found on www.nkinfinity.com. What you do is you come over here, you click on this, pretend you're a New York State teacher, unless, of course, you are a New York State teacher, and hit Algebra 2 Review. Click on that. And I've got practice tests right here, all of them right there, blank ones. I've got blank copies of all. And so let's say you want to work on this. So just click on it. There it is. That's what we're working on right now, I hope. That's what it looks like we're working on. So let's get started. By the way, if you haven't hit the subscribe button or if you haven't hit the like button, please do so. That helps me out and I'm helping you out. So we're kind of helping each other out, all right? So let's get started. Uh, to solve this equation, this would be a really difficult problem to solve, mostly because this is backwards and you got to use all kinds of crazy things. But I can use my calculator to make this a very easy question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stow in some crazy number. 2.38 into x. And I think I already did that, actually. Yeah, I already did that. So the way you do it is you do 2.38, and you do control var x, and you press enter. Then you come back, and you type in the original problem exactly as it appears. So control division. Don't do. You have to do it this way. x over x minus 1. Per, go to the right, minus control division. And it's going to be 1 over, control division, 1 over 2 minus 2x, I believe, right? So you typed it in correctly. You get some stupid answer. You're going to get some stupid answer, right? And um, now you just try the answers. Let's try number one first. Number one first says x plus 1 over x minus 1. So we're going to do parentheses. Let's see. Control division, x plus 1 over over x minus 1. Does it seem the same? Nope, that's not it. How about 2x minus 1? I think 3 is the answer. Let's, so let's just do 3. 2x plus 1, control division, 2x plus 1 over 2x minus 1. 2 parentheses x minus minus 1. Now remember, we're looking for 2.0869. 2.0869. There's my answer. Choice 3. No, let's try this next one. Now this next one's going to be sort of a pain in the neck because you got to put them in for all of those. So let's do that real quick. A, B, and C. So 2.3 control var A. 3.5 control var B. 9.15 control var C. It makes no difference what numbers you pick. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type that in. Cube root, control, cube root. Of 27. A raised to the negative 6. Get out of that mode. B cubed. So B cubed, c squared. And I'm going to get some big, ginormous, obnoxious number. It's not even big. It's tiny. All right. So that's the number. So now I'm going to check my answers. Now I'm going to figure out what the right answer is. I think it's, I think it's four. No. No, I think it's one, actually. So let's check to see if one works. So control division. 3B times C. Now, it's not going to let you put B, C next to each other. you got to do B times C raised to the control division 2 over 3 all over A squared. Now, if it's right, we get 8.68. If it's not, we get something stupid. There it is, 8.68, done, problem's over with, ka-ching. Now, if that one didn't work, you got to try them all, and that's kind of a pain. 
Let's try this one. So we already have something stored in for A. We already have something stored in for B. So let's just type this in. Now look what happens when I type in 4AB square roots of 2B, square roots of 2B. I'm, not, I'm just not going to finish typing it in because look what happens. It, it gives me this weird thing, right? AB, it doesn't even understand AB, right? So that's not what we want. What we want is it thinks AB is a variable. So we really want to put in times here. And we're going to type in that whole thing, whole thing at one time, 3A square roots of, I forgot the minus, 16B, 18B cubed, 18B cubed. Of course, I forgot the minus, so that's going to be a major problem. Uh, plus 7AB, plus 7A times B, make sure you do that, square roots of 6B. Most of the new calculators will actually just crash. It'll say, I don't understand. Get some obnoxious number, there it is. And the answer is... Uh... I think the answer is 4, so we're going to try 4, I think. Negative 5a times b square roots of 2b, or not to be, that's the question I have. I don't know about you. Plus 7a times b square roots of 6b. Now, if we're right, we get 151. If we're wrong, we got to fix something else. There it is. That's the right answer. ka -ching. Again, this is time-consuming. But on the day of the Regents exam, if this problem's up and you've already done it the right way, you check it. Boom, star. Never have to look at it again. What about this crap? Now, these are a little bit trickier. Cosine squared theta minus 2 theta. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in like 35 Point four degrees in for x. Now we can't use theta, we're going to use x. So now let's, oops, let's see, we got cosine squared theta. So these are a little bit trickier. Cosine of x, but I got to put a squared, I think I can put a squared right there. I think that'll allow me to do that, put that squared there. Minus 2, excuse me, minus cosine, doesn't like when I do that, cosine 2x. And I get, yeah, it doesn't like this, it doesn't like this squared up here. I didn't think it would. So what we got to do is you got to take this whole thing and you got to put this whole thing in parentheses and then square it. That's just the way to do that, enter. And you get that, and then I type in the, the right answer, which is, this is one minus sine squared, and this is, I don't even know what the right answer is. Uh, let's just try sine, let's just go through them. This is, I'm not even sure, I, I, I could go through it. I, I could mathematically go through it. X, I look, at, oh, there it is, sine squared, I thought that was it, boom, there it is, right answer. Which trigonometry, trigonometric does not simplify to 1? All right, we got something stored in for 1, let's type these out, sine squared X, which I just did, parenthesis, 1 plus cotangent squared X. So the only hard part about these is making sure you put the uh, squares in the right way. Parenthesis, parenthesis, squared. That's one. Let's try the next one. Secant squared. So parenthesis, secant of x squared. 1 minus, parenthesis, 1 minus parenthesis, sine of x 
squared. One. Let's try the next one. I, I'm guessing, I'm pretty much sure it's going to be this last one. So let's try this last one. If it's not this last one, we'll be mad. Cotangent of x. Oops, i got to take that whole thing and square it. So i got to put that whole thing in parentheses. Squared. That's the hard part about all this. Squared. Parentheses. Secant. So the secant squared. So parentheses. Secant of x. squared. Was it minus 1? Oh, man, it was the next one. So cosine, I can't believe it was this one, cosine of x squared, parentheses, tangent squared. Now I forgot to put that in parentheses. squared, and then out of those, oh, minus 1. Oh, there we go. Finally, we got the one that didn't work. There it is. Choice 3. What a pain. You know, this question right here is not that difficult to do mathematically, but, you know, why bother? Let's do it. W, let's do uh, 2.98 control var W. Press Enter and type it in. So we got big parentheses, control division. You got to type it in exactly. W to the negative 5. W raised to the negative 5 over W raised to the negative 9. W raised to the negative 9. And that whole thing raised to the 1 half. Make sure it looks exactly like you want it. There it is, to the negative 5, to the negative 9, 1 half. So we got 8.8804. Now the answer is 2. Choice 2 is W squared. That's the answer. So let's just type in W squared. W squared. Oh, look at that. 8.808. Done. Problem's over with. When that is divided by that, this is actually a relatively rough question. I've already got something stored in for x, so let's just do this. Control division, x raised to the negative 1 minus 1 all over x minus 1. There's what I get. Now the answer is... I think it's 2, 1 over x. So uh, control division, control division, negative 1 over x. I'm not sure. Yep, there it is. Negative 1 over x. <whistles> now you check them all to see which one matches. All right, here we go. Um, again, we already have something stored in for a and b, which is kind of nice. So we just type this in, control division. 3 over control square root, 3a squared, 3a squared b. Enter. And the answer is, oh man, something over a. I think it's choice 4, so it's the square root of 3 over a. Square root of 3, no it's not. Divided by a, that wouldn't be that wouldn't make sense. So this is not going to work. I knew that one wasn't going to work. Well, actually, I think it might be three. I think it might be two. Actually, I think the answer is two. So the square root of b over a b. So control division square root of b over. A times B. Remember, you can't write AB. You got to write A times B. 2.3. And I forgot what our original was. Nope. 0.4. That's not it either. Shoot. So I guess that's not it. So now we're going with 3. It's got to be 3. So. Square root of 3B over AB. A times B. 
0.402, and I think that was our original one. There it is, 0.402. Man, that took forever to get to. All right, we've already got something stored in for A and B, so let's just type this in, parenthesis, 5 raised to the negative 2, A cubed, A cubed, B to the negative 4, B raised to the negative 4, all raised to the negative 1. And you get 308. And the right answer is 25 on top. So the answer is going to be 2. So 25B to the 4th, control division, 25B uh, raised to the 4th over A cubed. Right? Isn't A cubed? A cubed. And you get the same answer. There it is. I think you're getting the point of this whole thing. Um, yeah, I could just do the problem. I already got something in for A and B, so let me do cube root. Cube root of 4A squared B to fourth. 4A squared B raised to the fourth. Product, so we're going to be doing times. The square root of, oh no, it's the cube root of, excuse me, the cube root of 16a cubed b squared. 16a cubed b squared. Get some obnoxious answer, and the answer is going to be, let's see, 64, 4, so it's going to be 4. A squared. So it's got to be choice two. So 4A squared, 4A squared, B cubed. Yeah, B cubed. Cube roots of A. And it should give me the same answer of 196. Oh, it does not. It does not. This should be, oh, wait. A to the fifth. Oh, it's, it's definitely choice A, choice one. Sorry, it's definitely choice one. So this is going to be squared in here. And this is to the 1th power, 196. Oh, and it's b squared, not b cubed. I don't think it's going to let me do this. I got my head up my keister. 196 is what we're looking for. There it is, choice one. My goodness, that was bad. All right, and then this final one, whole bunch of craziness going on here. And I got, I got so many kids that put 0 as their answer. We already have something stored in for x, so let's just do this one. 3 divided by 2, don't like the way that's written, control division, 3 over 2, x, minus 1, plus 1, 3 divided by 2x, minus 1, Parentheses, minus, parentheses, 3 divided by 2. Now, if this turns out to be 0, i got to try a couple of different values. x minus 1 squared, minus 1 parentheses squared. I don't know what it's going to turn out to be. 104.2. Now i got to find the right answer. And I think it's choice 4, 3x minus 2, but I'm not sure. There it is, 3x minus 2. There's the right answer. So there's some quick ways on how to use the stow feature of your calculator. Hopefully you practice some of those to get some of the right answers. All right, kids, that's the end of that. Catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye.